We're gonna take a look at Kitchen Faucet Divas. My name is Doug Cunnington. I'm from Niche Site Project. This is a Niche Site Teardown. We're on the homepage of Kitchen Faucet Divas. It's fine overall. They open up right away with a little bit of an intro. It's, it's kind of like an about page. So my name is Vanessa, blah, blah, blah. And they're talking about just how they decided to start the site. It seems fine. It'd be really cool to have a little picture of Vanessa. Maybe in a future video, we'll take a look at the actual about page. Today, we're actually gonna just focus on a couple informational articles. People often ask about what they should put in informational articles, and I'm gonna show you what Kitchen Faucet Divas has done. I have a longer version of a teardown for Kitchen Faucet Divas, so you can find that on the channel, and I'll probably put a link somewhere. I will say that the design, it looks pretty good. It looks all right here. I don't love this logo. It looks like a really cheap fiber design, but you know, whatever, it, it seems to work okay. And this, the colors kind of match. So that's cool. We'll look at uh, this practice water efficiency and not water conservation in your kitchen. It's obviously not oriented towards a specific product. Although I, I could imagine like a, high of efficiency, a low volume water faucet, they could pitch that here, but they don't. And we'll take a quick look and I'll just describe some things that I see, what I like and what I don't like. So first off, they do have a nice, you know, an image, high quality image and a little bit of a title, that's fine. As I read the copy, it sounds a little weak. And I imagine, I mean, the topic isn't super exciting, but as I look at it, there's no like references to other places that they've cited information. For example, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, um, said that 36 states have experienced a water shortage in the past 12 months. I'm sure that's accurate, but hey, it would be cool if they actually put a reference for a claim, especially when it's so specific like that. As I take a look at some of the other material on the page, it's fine overall, but there's nothing impressive about the information here. And they're just talking about the differences between water conservation and efficiency. They're not really making like a great case. It's just a little bit of a how-to. Now it's short, by the way, that's it. This is it right here. From a standpoint of having like more content on the site than just your average product review, that's good. But when we look at like the actual value of the information here, it's not like someone would browse around on this page and think, hey, we need to be efficient with our water versus conserve the water. So it's, it's kind of weak, but if they just wanna make sure they have other information on their site, aside from just product reviews, this does fit the bill, but it is a bit weak. The next thing I want to point out is they're, you know, they're talking about copper faucets, but check out the title here is Accord Your Kitchen with an Antique Look with Copper Faucets. Accord technically means like to give. Technically it's correct, but it's like they just grabbed a thesaurus and decided they wanted to put that in. Now, I don't know, it's just a very strange word choice, and I know from a copywriting perspective, if I'm if I want to convey some information, I'm going to use terms that people actually like speak to each other. People don't say Accord unless they're talking about the, the car made by Honda. But other than that, like it's not a thing that people say. If I had to give Kitchen Faucet Divas a grade on the quality of their informational articles, it would be it'd be a bad grade. I, I won't I won't. Uh, say give a rating between one and 100, but there's a lot lacking here. I don't think the content is that great. The content, like it's not awesome. And I mean, actually just look at the maintenance section right here. When you're describing like a process, that is a great place to use these unordered lists or an ordered list or just break it up and maybe not have all of this in one paragraph. I mean, they could have listed that out just to make it a little bit more readable. This is Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider it. If you like this teardown, we'll see you around.